Uh, thank you very much for your introduction. I'm Hajime Wakeda. I'm a president of Jogmec, Japan Oil and Gas and Metals National Corporation. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity to participate in this forum, and I'm very much honored. Uh, currently, the role of CCS is becoming increasingly important. However, uh, there remain barriers that must be overcome for CCS deployment. As we are aware, the realization of sustainable CCS projects require attracting privacy investment. At the same time, there is a role of governments for attracting private sector. So today, firstly, I would like to uh, briefly introduce JOGMEC and then talk about CCS and energy station and challenges of, for CCS de de uh, deployment in Asia. And finally, I would like to express my thoughts on how JOGMEC can contribute and also expectation to Asia CCS network. So JOGMEC is a governmental agency uh, that is engaged in a wide range of activities in the field of oil and gas, metals, and geothermal energy. Our primary aim is to secure a stable supply of natural resources. And our activities include financial support, geological survey, and the technical support. In recent years, we are recognizing the importance of addressing climate change and achieving a carbon neutral society. In this April, we established Carbon Neutral Promotion Headquarters in Jogmec to contribute to carbon neutrality beyond the conventional organization framework. So uh, among our activities, we are highly engaged in the technological development, particularly on CCS. Uh, we are con conducting R&D at our technology research center. Our scope for R&D covers both subsurface and surface as listed here. We have de uh, developed, developed all this technology for decades through oil and gas exploration and production acti activities. So uh, we are currently working on several projects, including in Southeast Asia. For example, in Indonesia, uh, we are conducting a blue ammonia and CCS feasibility study uh, jointly with Mitsubishi Corporation, uh, Bandung Institute of Technology, and an ammonia producer, PT Pancha Amara Utana. Uh, in this project, we will be conduct, uh, collecting data, conducting simulations, evaluating candidate storage capacity, and investigating the feasibility of clean fuel ammonia production. Clean fuel ammonia can be combusted in power plants, and so we will be, uh, it will be one of the prospective fuel in the carbon neutral society. Last year, Japanese government set a target of 3 million tons of ammonia fuel use in 2030. The demand for power generation in Asia is expected to be increasing in the future. So uh, uh, let me now focus on the context in Asia. Asia uh, will continue its economic growth at the same time as the demand for energy to support energy industries and the people's lifestyle will also increase. According to uh, EIA, IEA, even in 2040, we can expect that fossil fuels will continue to account for the majority of demand in Southeast Asia. However, we also need to respond to climate change. One way, one way of doing that is the deployment of CCS to decarbonize fossil fuel development. And so now, uh, now let me address the challenges uh, to CCS deployment in Asia. Uh, this figure shows some of the conditions necessary to attract private investment. So improving economic efficiency is, is essential. Technology development can play a vital role in this. And also establishing laws and regulation uh, to approve and assure the CCS projects are necessary to create an investment-friendly environment. And also finance uh, should be provided as CCS projects need huge capex. And we have to consider not only how to support the cash management of each project, but also how to improve economics of each project. And capacity building is also important. Know-how and experiences should be shared among private companies. Uh, regarding the improvement of CCS reliability, government should uh, prepare the scheme, such as long-term monitoring of CO2 leakage to assure the reliability. It is also important to show improvement in the environment. 
such as the quantity of CO2 reduction or resulting from CCS. In order to enhance the reliability, certification system for environmental impact of CCS should be developed. As these are diverse and diverse and multi-layered issues, governments are expected to set appropriate proactive policies. This is not an easy task, and so it is important to utilize international partnerships and promote such initiatives throughout Asia. And here are some ways uh, in, in which Jogna can contribute to the CCS deployment by Asian governments. Uh, these are three initiatives that we are currently working on. Well, regarding the improvement of economics, uh, economic efficiency, we have been developing various technology in uh, oil and gas fields. For example, well, regarding the CO2 separation, we are developing membrane absorption technology. This technology will contribute to reduce cost in CO2 separation process and improve the economics of CCS. Regarding the verification of long-term stability and the improvement in uh, reliability, we have been developing fundamental technology for subsurface evaluation, including screening of target structure for CCS and uh, site characterization and monitoring CO2 migration. And also we are uh, working on establishing uh, evaluation methods and certification frameworks for reduction in CO2 amount and carbon intensity. So for example, when we provide blue ammonia, blue hydrogen into a market, people need to know how much CO2 is emitted from uh, the ammonia or, or hydrogen. So we are developing the methods to quantify the amount of CO2 emission, which is a rate of CO2 ton per megajoule based on the CO2 injected by CCS project. I think it will be meaningful if we can share the method and harmonize it within Asia region. Through Asia CCS network, we would like to contribute to Asian government's policy formulation and related activities. So finally, I would like to present my expectations for Asia CCS network. First, I expect the interactive communication and coordination between the, this network and each government. In order for CCS project to be sustainable, policy measures and continuous support by the government is necessary. It will be useful for this network to play a role in monitoring and providing advice uh, during the process of policy formulation by each government. I also expect uh, this network to provide grand design for CCS in Asia by showing a common instit uh, institutional scheme and harmonize it in Asia region. Applying the joint crediting mechanism, JCM, to CCS project is abs absolutely necessary to improve economic efficiency. Furthermore, we expect the network to lead capacity building in the field of both engineering and policy making. Especially regarding engineers, we need to start working now, assuming the number of personnel in the CCS sector needed in the near future. Finally, sharing of good practices necessary to promote the deployment of CCS, not only in a particular country, but in all of Asia. Networking with other relevant groups, uh, such as OGCI, would be effective as well. I am glad that this is included in the midterm plan released today and expect the network's leadership. For establishing and maintaining the information platform, uh, the oil and gas sector could possibly contribute immensely. And of course, we are glad to be part of it. Finally, uh, uh, okay. So uh, that's it uh, for my presentation. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, please feel free. To Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Wakoda, and very, uh, very informative uh, uh, presentation. Uh, so I do have a, a question here. And uh, so one of them is, uh, so JobMac, to my understanding, uh, has established the Low Carbon Society's technical business strategy uh, in 2020. So what is your suggestion for future CCS business model? 
Okay, thank you very much for your question. And thank you very much for your referring the uh, uh, business strategy in 2020. Actually, so this strategy includes three key points, R&D and business support and building the value chain. So regarding R&D, it is necessary to improve the economic efficiency of CCS by developing technology such as CO2 EOR or CO2 separation, uh, which oil and gas industry has been promoting. In the second point, second point, business support, we are concerned how to support CCS business in Asia, uh, referring to measures to be taken in other countries. So let me give you an example. For example, the, in Netherlands and the UK, there is a system in which the government compensates for the difference between the carbon price and the project cost, uh, which will ensure the project profitability. And also another example is Alberta in Canada. Alberta has an emission trading system and improved CCS project profitability by providing credit to each project and raising the carbon price. So key issue for CCS business model is to make CCS sustainable business. And to do that, it is necessary for government to take a proactive role in reducing business risks and ensure economics of project 